Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter one talking about the mobile world and looking forward to the next topic of this chapter, which is 1.7 challenges of mobile application testing. As we have been talking about a lot many things when it comes to the introduction to the mobile world, which is business and the technology drivers. And when it comes to the technology, there can be definitely a lot of challenges which a tester need to consider in order to overcome them or at least keep it in account from the point of making sure that when they are testing these apps, they don't have any such thing as a constraint which can be delivered as a problem or quality risk to the product in the market. And that's where the challenges of mobile application testing plays a crucial role for a mobile application tester to be aware of in order to make sure that everything is well considered and have been tested efficiently to be delivered with the best quality ever. Now in the mobile world, many additional challenges exist that are uncommon or uncritical in a desktop or server software. We do have to agree at this point of time that mobile application comes to completely a different world of a desktop or a web-based application because it has a different environment altogether and people uh, operate such apps in a different manner compared to a desktop or a web-based application. Now that's where the tester must be aware of these challenges and how they impact or can impact the success of the application altogether. Now the typical challenges in the mobile world can be included as like the multiple platform and device fragmentation, for example, multiple operating system types, their specific version variants, screen sizes, and quality of the display, which is the resolution. So of course, as you see, there are so many variants when it comes to operating system. Again, we do have some standard ones like the iOS, Windows, and Android. But again, each one of them have different versions, and each version might be definitely restricted to certain devices. Some of them have the freedom to update it. Some of the the uh, devices do not have that and again screen sizes does matter that how exactly your app will be displayed in a phone with four inches of display and six inches of display and a lot many other things the hardware differences in various types of devices which totally agrees to anyone that how exactly devices were distributed with their different hardware resources. People have 2GB RAM, sometimes they have even 6GB RAM, and various types of sensors and difficulty in simulating test conditions for the constrained CPU and the RAM resources, which will definitely be waiting for different type of models and devices. Variety of software development tools required by the platform. Again, not all the platforms can actually be run in the different simulator or specific tools. You may need some specialized tools to do some specific type of testing. Now, difference of user interface design and user experience expectations from the platform. Again, you may have observed yourself that when you work on or you are a user of iOS for a long time, how you look at an Android app or you know the experience in terms of like the back button in the iOS is on the top and Android it is at the bottom and you know there are some drastic differences between that so if you have been an iOS user you expect different apps to have a back button on the top compared to the Android user who expects the back button to be at the bottom now that's where we are talking about the user experience and multiple network types and providers, which are again variants of them. And again, country to country, you may have variations further and you'd wanna make sure that, are you really populating it to the entire world? Or maybe a country, maybe a state, or maybe just a city. Now resource top devices, there are certain devices which are limited with the resources. And what if you are targeting those audience as well, who do not really have a hi-fi smartphone with a great advantage on the resources. So. Is that going to be a challenge for such users? Or maybe you're targeting students who generally cannot afford a quite expensive phones with amazing abilities. So are you making for a student mode kind of application and then you are targeting all the hi-fi phones? No, that's not a good deal. Various distribution channels for the apps like what kind of constraints are involved if you put your app on the Play Store or you put your app on the App Store or maybe the Windows Store? Is there any kind of challenges which you really need to fulfill? For example, how the app will be displayed, how the app will be populated, what kind of technical configurations need to be tested before you go to their environment? 
and a lot many other things. More to add on this, uh, we do have diverse user and user group, the mentality and perception and expectations from the real users as you target some of the apps to a different group of people, for example, Facebook. Now, Facebook is used by a youngster, a professional, professional, again, the doctors, teachers, and many other people. Now, how you meet those expectations is really, really crucial and important. Various app types with various connection methods, again, which is, again, various apps has different connectivity types like 2G, 3G. Now, not all the apps really work with a 2G network. Sometimes they get stuck, they get hanged, but there are apps which works with any of these connectivity types. Be 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, it just works fine with anything. Yeah, it can be a little slow, but it works fine. High feedback visibility resulting from bugs that have high impact on users, which may easily result in them publishing feedback on online marketplaces. Generally, when you try to download a new app, you always look forward to the rating and review provided by the other users that is that something really doing good? Is that something people are not happy with? Or is that something which really doesn't work for anyone and how you want to decide on that? So definitely these things can bring back to uh, the app or total uh, market. And that's where new users can decide that whether they really have to download your app or not. The marketplace publishing, which requires additional approval cycles for publishing by marketplace owners such as Google Play or Apple App Store, which generally means that they may have additional layers of approvals to be required to be publishing your app and that you need to consider from the testing point of view as well. Maybe they would have a checklist which you need to meet or fulfill them. So of course, have you performed all those sort of things before you can actually talk to Apple App Store to publish your app? Unavailability of newly launched devices requiring the use of mobile emulators and simulators could always be a challenge because no matter when you start working on an app, by the time you release, you definitely have new models released into the market and you never know when a model becomes so popular that a lot many people start using them. And that's where you lack saying that, okay, now I see that this particular device is you know, definitely not supporting our app or other way around. Our app is not supported on that new device just because the lack of testing when we were busy making it, this device was not available. So you can make use of simulators and emulators which can provide you the latest devices to use that. Further to add on this, of course, there are impacts uh, which you can include uh, for these challenges, which can definitely result into a lot of drastic changes. So being aware of what happens if these challenges are not tackled or handled properly or managed properly right at the time of testing. So for example, not number of combinations to be tested could be another impact because you may have various combinations coming up together, but this is something about unique devices being used by different consumers. You need to really take this into account and could be an impact. Large number of devices required for testing, which drives up the cost. You may have to purchase a lot of devices if in case you cannot have your uh, those devices among your friends and colleagues you know for example when you talk about the redmi phone a lot of people around you will have redmi phone with them and uh, that creates a you know quite different uh, environment that even if you reach out to your family member you realize all your family member is using redmi phone if you reach out to your colleagues you realize that again they all are using redmi phone itself so i don't have any opportunities to test with another xyz organization's phone so that can definitely land up asking you to buy new devices and that could increase the cost. The need for backward compatibility to run the application on older version of the platform could be another challenge. New features being released in every version of underlying operating system. Every time you have a new operating system, there might be something new being added and that new can definitely impact your app. Guidelines to be considered for the various platform which will be publishing your app. Resource starved CPUs as well as limited amount of memory and storage space could be a constraint for your app to run properly or maybe your app can prompt the user saying that, okay, I don't have enough space to accommodate my activities. Can you upgrade yourself? And that could definitely result into a bad experience or I can say bad user experience. Varying bandwidth and jitter of various networks. Of course, you sometimes deal with the uh, 
uh, you know, traveling yourself and you might be, you know, traveling within your city right from home to work and you want to make use of such apps which have definite congestions and, you know, unavailability of network at some time. So how does your app behave in those situations should be another thing to be measured. Changes in the available upload and download speed based on the data plans. Again, people have different data planes and different bandwidth or those internet connectivities. How does your app respond? Now, if your app is dealing with something like uh, Instagram, which is all about uploading a picture and downloading a picture, everything is all about that. Now, that plays a vital role to be tested that what kind of bandwidth people can actually sustain this app in, or maybe they will not be ever, ever, ever possible to use such apps. Adding more to it, the following are the examples which illustrate typical challenges and their potential impact. That is, different devices have different types of sensors and tests need to account for these. Uh, every new sensor added to the hardware may require additional backward compatibility testing. Some of the network challenges can be dealt with appropriately even under varying network conditions by using appropriate caching and prefetching strategies. However, this comes at a cost. A large number of open connections can impact the server-side performance as most apps keep the user logged in on the server. So again, we are talking about the several things which can actually be handled or uh, you know, their potential impact in terms of that if we try to overcome all the challenges which we have discussed in this tutorial, there might be other things which may come up and could be additional challenge while rectif rectifying the existing challenge. And that's where we need to you know, take everything end to end into account to make sure that are we really, really doing a great you know, testing put together, which will definitely give us that confidence and reliability to the end user that yes, we can go ahead and make use of such apps. Well, that was all to talk from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.